everybody. Hey, I'm Miss Shea, and I'm the 4-H agent here in Robinson County. Good morning, I'm Mac Johnson, the horticulture agent here in Robinson County. And we are here today to do a little plant science and make some plant people with you. Now, I know the plant science thing sounds a little boring, but it's not like atoms and molecules and having to write reports and go back and check your scientific efforts. This is gonna be a lot of fun, and when we get done, you're gonna know everything you need to know about growing plants, right? I hope so. We're gonna share what we know anyway. We're gonna so. try. So to do this activity, we had left some materials listed in the um, events page, but if you wanna go back and do this later, you can. You just need some knee highs, some old recycled knee highs or pantyhose that have been cut at about the knee level. That's pretty good. That have been washed. That have been washed. These are clean, I promise. Nobody's feet have been in these. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> you're gonna need some markers, not water soluble, Permanent markers work best for this, like Sharpies, but before you use them, make sure to cover your area. See, Mr. Mac knew what he was doing this morning when he was working with me and said, let's get some newspaper. And make sure you ask your caregivers before you're using permanent markers on things. Um, you'll need a little grass seed and something to get the grass seed out with. A spoon. A spoon works great. A spoon works perfectly for this. And then you need some dirt, right, Mr. Mac? No. That is wrong. We do not need dirt. This is not dirt. This is soil that's mixed. Where is dirt? Dirt's a dirty little four letter word. It is. So dirt is on the floor. It is dead. It's not living. If we go outside where the soil is, then now you have found living organisms. Okay, so. Microbes, bacteria. I'm sorry. Soil. Microbes and bacteria? Yes, good stuff. So does that mean. Maybe not good for us, but good for the plants. We need to wash our hands when we get done with this. Then. Yes, please. Wash okay. your hands. So remember, we gotta wash our hands when we get done with this activity. But we've got soil here, not dirt, soil. And we've got something to scoop the soil with so it's not necessarily all up in our hands. Oh. So that's a good thing to do. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in making a plant person is we're gonna need to get our knee high, our beautiful knee high, and we're gonna need to scrunch it down, all the way down to the toe. Because the first thing you put in when you plant anything is the seed, right? Yes. Everything you plant, you put the seed on the bottom. No, not always. <laughs> but it we are with plant question. people. So with plant people, we do. Oh, where's my spoon? So how many spoonfuls? Should I put a half a package in here? No, let's put two spoons. Two spoons. So one spoonful of grass seed and then the other spoon. So when this happens, so does that mean that the grass seed can grow up through the soil? This when grass we do this? is actually going to grow up through the nylon stocking because we're going to turn it over, right? Oh, okay. That works. I get that. Okay, so then so I guess we need soil. now we're going to add the soilless mix, which is coming now. There we go. A little bit more? One more. Okay. One more right on in there. Oops, see, yep, see, I made, made a mess. mess. That is what we're good at. Okay, so oh. that doesn't look like um, a head, No, it though. does not. No. All no. right, so. we got to reshape it. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna shake it. Hold on tight because you don't want the soil going everywhere. And you're gonna shake it down, kind of like a yo-yo or a paddle ball. You need to keep shaking it down until it makes a ball. Right now it looks kind of cone head like. So we're gonna try to make a ball. Where's the seed? The seed's right there. I can see it awesome. right there in the top. That's the seed. So grass is green. Grass is green. When it's living and growing, can be dormant in the sun, spring. Okay. Whilst so if we're turning this upside down, yes, that's going to be his hair. It will be, just like a chia pet. Oh, he's going to have 4-H green hair. Yeah. How perfect is this? Okay, so Mr. Mackey said we're going to turn this upside down. So if we do that right now, though, it's going to fall out. All of the soil and the grass seed will fall out. So we need to make a knot. So if you've never made a knot before, this is the easiest way I can explain it. Take two fingers, wrap the nylon around your fingers. See how I'm wrapping it around the base? And then I'm gonna slide it between my two fingers from the back. Look at that. And then I'm gonna pull it tight. And I'll have a knot. There we go. Ta-da. Awesome. Okay, so we know that for grass seed to grow, it's right. gotta have air. Yep, it needs oxygen. So actually, can it get air from where it is? It can, because this membrane here is permeable, so air can actually go through it. Oh, big word, permeable. Okay. permeable okay. Which means air can go through it. All right, what but else? the seed's not gonna germinate like that, is it? It needs a couple of more things. So 
A couple of things we need to look at is it needs a correct temperature for it to germinate. Mm -hmm. So where can we find a good, constant, warm temperature? Should we put it outside? Um, well, it's sort of cold today. And it is. Yesterday it was sort of rainy, and I don't want my plant person to catch cold. And most of you guys live in North Carolina, and you guys know how our weather is. Cold one day, warm the next, cold the next. So that's very erratic. We want a nice, warm, constant temperature. So where's a good place we could find that? We could probably keep it inside if that's okay with mom and dad, that would, and yeah. if that's okay with our boss, Miss Christie, who's running the camera, <laughs> by the way. So. We hope it's okay with her. So if we can get their permission, then inside would be a great place to start and to germinate these seeds. Okay. So we've got warm temperature. We've got the substrate here for the roots to actually grow in, but we still need something else. Doesn't it need to eat? Well, it, it needs to eat, but it needs some moisture before it'll ever germinate. Oh, it needs to So drink. we've got to wet it, and it's got to stay moist. Now, what are we going to do about that? Well, I see a big old pitcher of water over here. You do. So that might be helpful in that. But before we dunk it and wet it. It needs, it needs some personality. It needs a face. Okay, so that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and draw a face. I'm going to use my permanent markers. Now, if you want to be fancy with this, you can get some googly eyes, some little rubber bands. Now, you have to have water, glue that's not water soluble to glue on the eyes. And if you glue on googly eyes, wait until they dry before you're, you dunk his head and give him some water. Um, and if you can use rubber bands to make a nose or ears or things like that. We're just going to do it simply today. And we're just going to draw a face on with our markers because that will, I'm going to make sure ours has lots of personality. With the 4-H green eyes. With the 4-H green eyes because right. everything should have 4-H green on it, I think. Just one of those things. I'm going to give it a big smiley face. A wolf pack red big smiley face. I did. I did do that. Yes, I did. Oh, it needs a nose because it needs to breathe and it can get air through the nylon stocking because it's permeable. Uh, that word I just learned. Absolutely. So I'm going to give it a nose. Now it can breathe. And it's going to have freckles because I like freckles. So this is my, my artwork for the day. There's my pretty little face. So now it has personality. And it's going to have hair because it's going to have green grass growing up as its hair, which means I can cut it. I can sure. grow it long enough to make pigtails or braid it maybe. 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 So never know. We'll have to see. But first it has to go swimming. Yes, gotta, gotta wet it. So let's dunk our people person. He sort of floats, so you might have to push him in. Huh? With all that air coming out, See so obviously air. air moves through there. Yep, and if air's coming out, that means water's going in, right? I hope so. I think the water line's gonna be much lower when we get done. Mm -hmm. So my question is though, Mr. Mack, when we get this wet, how are we gonna keep it wet? Because we can't keep dunking it, can we? No, we don't need to. So what we can do is just like we have this example here. So our people person actually looks kind of like a tadpole, doesn't it? We've got the head and the face, but we've also got this long tail. We also can have a base and we put water in our base, right? Okay. So we need to put water in our base. So our water turned a little green because there was some dye in the grass seed. So when I dunked it, the dye came out in the water. All right. So now... His head is not going to fit in there. No. But his tail will. Oh. So, so Miss Shay's okay. going to put his tail down in the base, just like this guy. And water's actually going to move up the tail and keep this wet and saturated. And that's called capillary action. So when we get done, look at my plant first in. He's got a little body, his tail's getting water, so he's drinking, he can eat from the soil, he can grow hair. Yes. So I should leave him in a dark room when we get done? No. Nope. Why would we leave him in a dark room? I don't know. No. What do I do with him? He needs light, right? Oh, okay, yeah, everything needs light to grow. So, and sunlight's even better because most plants utilize sunlight. That's how they make energy to live. Okay. So where can we find a place in the building where sunlight can be found. We've got windows. We can go put big them in a window. window. Big windows. We'll put them in a window. That would so. be a perfect place. Even a south-facing window would be great if you could find that. So. so how long before he has hair? Because I'll sit here and watch it if it's going to happen in the next hour No, or so. it's not going to happen in the next hour. Oh. But you can keep a check on it. And it's probably going to take 7 to 10 days. That's going to be on average. 
So in the next week, we should start seeing hair. About a week from now, we should have hair. Okay. And I need Unlike me, mine's not coming back. Oh, I wouldn't go in there, but okay. <laughs> so I need to make sure he keeps water. Yes. And I don't have to worry about his food because that's going to stay in there. Right. So we found out that he gets to grow anything we need air. Air, oxygen. Oxygen, which he gets from the permeable yes. surface. Food, nutrients, yes. which he gets from the soil, yes. as my plant person is a he. Um, water, which is wicking up the tail. Uh, water. Which is a whole science experiment in its own, but it's wicking up the tail to its head. Right. And then sunlight. It needs to be warm and have sunlight and be happy. Yep, temperature. And then we will have a plant person of our very own. So you can grow these as they grow and you get hair, take pictures, add them to the comment section. We would love to see what your show plant people your look results. like. Yes. Yeah, we're excited. And we'll show you pictures of ours as ours grow. And don't forget, if you want to make them really exciting, you can add some noses, some ears. Let's see a personality of all your plant people and have them grow. And we're excited to see them. Good luck with this project, everybody. And thank you for tuning in. Don't forget the 2 o'clock check-in check in on the North Carolina 4-H page with Embryology. We'll see you later. Thanks. Have a great day.